Welcome back, plungers. It's Wednesday. Okay. It's almost Thursday. That's what that means. So, tomorrow is going to be where we're going after this Audi TTRS and this Honda Trophy truck. So, while there are 19 hours and 27 minutes left, <laughs> what I usually do is I try to go clean up my garage, try to remove any duplicates via the auction, and go try to pick up any cars that I'm missing. Hey, nobody cares. Nobody cares. What I did come across is this Bentley Turbo R from 1991. Now, as you can see there, it's got 750 horsepower and uh, 1,475 foot-pounds of torque. It's incredible. Incredible. Let me show you real quick. Let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. <laughs> so first of all, the car does this. Yeah, it does that. Let me hit the highway real quick. It doesn't have insane top speed. If I'm squeezing, I could probably get 225 out of it. But what I have it right now, to me, is the sweet spot for the arrow and the gearing that I have, the gearbox that I have, nine-speed gearbox. But the car is surgical. I am a surgeon! As far as handling is concerned. Now it was $20 million. I don't think anybody's selling this for less. I don't think anybody's selling any car that can sell for $20 million for less than $20 million. Let's just put it that way. Those go immediately. While cars that would sell for much cheaper go on the auction for 24 hours, those $20 million cars go on for an hour but never stay for that whole hour. In fact, I put a couple of cars up for $20 million and they went immediately. I went to go put a second car up and the first car had already sold by the time I put the second car up. But this car right here, is a, is a miracle, it's a, it's a, it's a sleeper. No matter how you cut it, it's a sleeper. I figured I'd do a little, a little bit of my test rip, my test track run. If you guys are familiar with it, you'll know how I'm handling the corners now, how this, how capable this car is compared to other cars. You'll know the speeds that I'm supposed to hit some of these corners at. But yeah, this car is very impressive. Would I say it's worth the $20 million? Well, I had 120 when I bought it, so yes, it was worth it. If it's your last 20 and you're looking to make a purchase or your first 20, and you're looking to make one of those big purchases to fill up your garage and fill it out and get your missing cars, I. I'd say you couldn't do much worse than this one. I'd highly recommend this car. I highly recommend it. Let's see what it looks like inside. I mean, it's like an old school coffee house or cigar shop. But at the end of the day, is it worth it? 
And I would, I would have to say it is. Unequivocally, it's worth it. It's gorgeous. And this is, this is the, one of the stock colors. This is one of the factory colors. I did change the wheels around a little bit, but this is stock. The, the arrow isn't obtrusive. It's tastefully done, as tasteful as you can get with Forza Arrow. I wish there was a, like a, a bumper delete, but I'll take it. I suggest that if you do have the $20 million, go check this car out. I would 10 out of 10 recommend. All right. Thanks for tapping in. Peace. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, please subscribe.